Today we break down the swing mechanics of Jose Altuve. Hey, what's going on fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Nelly here. Um, so I've gotten a ton of emails, uh, Twitter and Instagram messages, comments on YouTube asking about Jose Altuve and his swing mechanics. He seems to be the most popular player out there as far as uh, people are concerned, wanting to, to see his swing and getting get an understanding of how a guy so small, 5'6", or below whatever he is, he's short, um, how he's able to be so successful, be one of the top players in the league, be able to drive the ball and hit the ball so far. And so what I want to do today is just kind of look at a couple things that I see um, when I watch this swing and break it down, you know, we talk about it all the time in, in all of our videos, how um, all hitters are a little bit different, right? So no two guys are going to swing the bat exactly the same way. But, you know, we try to find some of those core principles that you'll find in, in all elite swings. And so um, Altuve has those, as do most hitters at the, at the MLB level. But he's also unique in some ways, and he does things a little bit differently than maybe some others do it. And so I want to kind of just break those few things down and then let you guys comment in the section below if you guys see things, um, you know, what what you feel may be the difference, what stands out to you when you watch his swing. So here's a couple of things. Um, the first thing, when I, when I watch him hit, um, we'll just kind of scroll through a couple of these swings right here as I talk. The first thing is, and everyone knows this, that he's a small guy, right? Um, as far as height goes, but he does not swing like a small guy, right? He looks like he is putting every ounce of his body into these balls, right? He's, he's swinging hard and he also is swinging slightly up through the ball. So the misconception that you'll see a lot or the advice that you'll get a lot if you're a smaller player is swing down on the ball, hit the ball on the ground and run because you're small and you can't hit for any power, right? That's usually what people will say. Um, coaches at younger levels, parents, right? You know, you're just, you're just not built to hit for power, man. You're small. You got to, you know, hit the ball on the ground and run. That's the best recipe for success for you. Well, um, as you guys know, I don't, I don't prescribe to that philosophy, but that is what a lot of people will hear. And a lot of people will say, and Altuve is the opposite. He's swinging hard and he's swinging slightly up. So he's, he's trying to drive the ball, right? He's not looking to just hit singles. He's looking to slug the ball around, although he may be a smaller guy. All the things we talk about as far as trying to get the bat to work in the zone early and slightly up so that you increase your ability to consistently contact the ball you increase your ability to, to create that good launch angle where you're going to drive the ball. You're going to get the ball a little bit more in the air. You're going to hit a lot more line drives that carry. You're going to hit more doubles, more triples, more home runs as you get stronger. He does all that. So he's not just trying to hit the ball on the ground. And there's probably a good chance if he were, you know, if he were to do that as a younger player and people said, hey, you know, Jose, you're you're five five or whatever you're five two. I don't know. You know, you should just just hit the ball on the ground, man. Just just hit it hit it on the ground and try to hit some singles. It's probably a good chance he never makes it to the major leagues, that, let alone be one of the best players in the league. So he understands that he's not a big guy, right? And so he knows he has to use his body really really well. He can't just rely on his size because he's not big so he uses his entire body when he hits to help him create bat speed and also to create consistency by having a bat path that works in the zone for a long time so if you don't know if this if you're new to our videos go check out our bat path video we make a ton of them just made one probably a week or so ago uh showing chris bryant his bat path um but he does a great job of keeping his bat in his own for a really long time. The next big thing that I see, the second thing I want to talk about is that he's, he's 
pretty unique with is his forward move or his lateral move or his sideways move, whatever you want to call it. But basically when he picks his foot up, you know, when he picks his foot up and then moves sideways, that's a big move, right? And you'll see, you'll see, again, guys do different things. You'll see some players that have really, really big moves. You'll have some players that have smaller moves. Um, but it's interesting here, smaller guy, right? Needs to use his body as much as possible. Like I said, can't rely just on his stature to help him create bat speed. And so he's putting everything he has into his swing. So he makes this big, big forward move, right? He gets his hands. He already starts with his hands pretty back and somewhat high for most players I see. And he really moves forward as he leaves his hands back there, trying to create, you know, we talk all the time about um, trying to create some type of tension in your body um, to hit with. So in the analogy I've used a bunch is you tie a, you, you put a elastic around your thumb and you pull that elastic back. The further you pull it back, the more tension you're storing, the more energy you're storing. If you want to be able to create a lot of energy in your swing, you've got to be able to store it. And so he's pulling back, you know, he's basically pulling back, 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 back. So if, if you think about whoops, across his body here, he's getting a big stretch because he's moving forward. And he's, he's trying to keep his hands back. I can see the jersey here starting to tighten up, right? So you can see it being pulled across his body, right? So that's the tension created. And you pull back, 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 back until you release. So now you've stored all this energy and then you let it fly, right? So you pull the elastic back, the further you pull it back, the more energy you store when you release it, the further you pull back, the further it's going to shoot, right? Josh Donaldson in his video that we, that we threw up talks about thinking about having a string having a string attached from your, you know, your hands, your, your bat to your bottom half, to your front side. And he's thinking about stretching that. So as he moves forward, he gets his hands back. He stretches as far as he can, then he releases. Now, the interesting thing is Altuve does a little bit differently than a lot of the players you'll see. A lot of times, you know, in our videos that we show, you'll see more of a pullback. So it's a feeling of almost like starting a lawnmower, doing a row where you're going to end up seeing the elbow, the back elbow and the back arm moving more this way. You don't see it as much with him. You see it a tiny, tiny bit, but it's almost more of just, he starts with his hands way back and up and he just tries to kind of leave them there as he moves. So again, you see the length in the lead arm. Again, you'll hear this a lot at younger levels. You know, can't, don't get your hands back. Don't get that arm too straight. You'll get an arm bar. Everyone tries to keep their arm at like a 90 degree angle when you watch major league players watch older players elite hitters you're going to see that their hands get much further back right if my hands are only if i have this 90 degree angle or even less and my hands are or let's just say they only get back to right here well it's not going to give the the lower body and the entire body time to turn right the bat's going to get into the zone almost too quickly you're going to end up being a push hitter we are just going to push the bat down through the ball you know, the swing has to happen in the right sequence. So we talk all the time about being more ground up. Right? You're using the ground to create some force and energy. And as you turn, you know, if you need to get these hands back here. You need some space. So as you turn, your body has time to really work. And then bang, the bat is kind of the last thing that comes through. So it's a chain of events. It's a sequence that works from the ground up. You'll see the hips starting to rotate before you see the upper body. Right. And when that swing unwinds, that's where the power and the energy comes from. So again, you store it. So I'm stretching, I'm storing it as I make that move into the ball. It works from the ground up all the way up the upper body. And then the bat is finally released into the zone. So again, if you're a small guy, you need to be able to use some of these things because you don't have, you know, he's less than five, six. And he probably doesn't weigh anything, right? It's tough to weigh a lot when you're that small. You know, he's not Aaron Judge, who's 
six foot eight, 285 pounds or whatever, right? If you're that big, well, then you don't have to use your body as well because you're, you can rely more on just the natural strength and, uh, and power of, of your, of your body. But if you're smaller, you don't have that naturally as, or you don't have as much as that, of that. So you've got to really use your body well. And I think that's what Altuve does. Now, when you're making this move, I, I just want to make sure, you know, I, I don't want a bunch of small guys going out there and just making these humongous, <laughs> just taking this humongous stride moving forward. Um, although you can mess around with it and, and fool around with different stride lanes. But again, it's important that when you, that when you move, you're thinking about again, trying to get the separation, trying to get, trying to pull my hands back as I move forward. And when I land, I want to try to stay, you know, we talked to our guys about, you're trying to move your body out in unison, but you're trying to stay athletic. So you're trying to stay in, in good posture, butt out, chest over, right? Butt out, chest over. He's still balanced, right? He still could drop his bat and play a bunch of different sports from that position. So he's not jumping a lot. Of, when younger players sometimes try to make a, a bigger move, they end up jumping, they end up getting forward, they get out of posture, right? Everything's kind of stacked on top of each other. They get to their front leg really, really early. And then they they have no chance, right? Anything slower off speed, they can't hit. Um, they just don't stay behind the ball well. So if you're going to move, you got to make sure you're doing it the right way. And, and all of our guys, is it's always butt out, chest forward. So it's like someone grabs you from the belt, loop back here, and just kind of tugs your butt that way, gets your chest over the plate, and now you can stay. And then you think about staying in that posture, staying over the plate. I mean, that's a perfect position right there to drive the ball. So, and just a couple things that I saw with El Tube that I think will help you guys out. I've gotten so many questions about it. I figured I'd take a few minutes to talk about it. But what an amazing talent. Guy just, you know, I sat down and watched. I haven't been able to watch a ton of full games this year. Um, I sat down and watched a full game of his a couple weeks ago. And, uh, this is ability in the field. He's an unbelievable fielder. Turns a double play great. You know, he's got a lot of range. Makes all the plays. Makes tough, tough plays look easy. Makes all the easy plays. And then he gets up at the plate. He just seems to just barrel the ball up all the time. Um, and again, he's not just barreling the ball up for singles. I mean, this guy's got pop. Get a ball. This ball right here went, I think, 425 is what they measured it at. And he absolutely destroyed this thing. So, good example of you don't have to be, you know, good thing about baseball, you don't have to be this big, huge guy. Does it help sometimes? Yes, but this isn't football where you have to be, you know, six foot four, 250 pounds. You can be five foot four, you know, a buck something, and you still have a chance to play in the major leagues. So, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear some of your thoughts, anything you see. Again, toss them down there. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Also, give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, check out our Instagram page, Antelli Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Man Antelli 9, where I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Uh, also, check the description box below where I've got links to books I've been reading that I find um, you know should be really helpful for you guys. And also, links to some of our training tools that we use with our players. Also check out our website, AntonaBaseball.com, where you can find out more about how to work with us or um, more info about our teams. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Good luck to you. Hopefully this helped you out, and we will talk to you later.